Welcome to Jason Burns at the Watson Gallery. You know, you know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Right, have a look at this. Out with the old and in with the new. Look at that. Let's hang the show! How exciting! How did I get into this predicament with smelly artists and arty farty art dealers? My probation officer should have warned me. Oh my god, this is just amazing. People have categorised art since there was art, and I'm no exception. I've um, invented three categories. Statement art, narrative art, and what we'll be talking about today, question art. Now, statement art is your pretty picture. Nice picture of a lighthouse, nice picture of a cow, a paddock, a farmhouse. I'm the artist, you're the viewer, and that's about all you get. Statement art can actually become transcendent in the right hands. For instance, Graham Sidney with his uh, Canterbury Plains images. Narrative art might be a cartoon strip. The 14 Stations of the Cross, done by any number of artists. Or it could be Pierre Bonnard's wife, Ma, getting out of the bar. You can imagine something has happened before, and you can imagine that something is going to happen after. And that, and that particular image was had a lovely intimacy, and you can almost imagine Bonnard handing his wife a towel. So the narrative artist brings you into a story, invites you into a story, and you are more of a participant, say, than in statement art. There's always going to be an element of statement art and narrative art to lead you in. Now, question art, as I said, is what we're looking at today. The work of Jason Burns is question art. It's like getting up in the morning and saying, what is the point of anything? What is the point? And knowing that there is no answer to that, but willfully asking that question anyway. Question art is the zen of art. You could take any one of these paintings in this room and live with it for your lifetime and never get to the end of it. There are so many people that don't understand that you do not have to understand art for it to move you. For it to trigger something in you that you can't identify. There is the core the heart, the visceral response, the X factor. Something that figures the response from your eyes to your soul. Oscar Wilde said, if you understand a work of art, it is dead to you. Let's do a little experiment. I'll leave you with this painting for 10 seconds. Now, I'm not trying to supply you with any answers to that experiment. I'm inviting you to ask questions for which there may be no answer.
monkey Sundays. I can imagine a lot of thoughts going through the artist's head. And then like a gannet, he dies and harvests his thought prey. And it ends up in one of these paintings. This one's called The Walk. Then we have In the Mind Garden. About public time. Two ways to look at these particular paintings and one is you can treat them for all intents and purposes like a pretty picture on the wall and then you can dig deeper and here we have maybe I was wrong Total shut down on the top left. These are like maps of the soul without a clear destination. And if you think you've found something, come back again tomorrow and you'll regard it with fresh eyes. Spanish tomatoes. Monk. Longest tape measure in the world contest is always closed. So as you can see, these are quite the literary works. Call in a crowd and let me walk out because I love you too much, baby. Why can't you see what you're doing to me when you don't believe a word I say? What about the vacuuming, Harry? Oh, the vacuuming? Okay.